Did you know that over 2 billion pounds of avocados are being consumed per year in the US? That's about 7 pounds per person. I bet you that that's going into America's favorite dip, guacamole. With that said, let's get straight into this cook. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, X-Man & Co. Today we're going to make nachos. Classic cheesy nachos. Stay tuned. Guys, now when you do nachos, you could go and get proper nachos chips. We're not going to do that today. We're here to show you guys that you could really go with your normal Doritos, pick your own flavor, whatever you like. We're going with cheese today, and that's going to be our nachos chips. That's going to be perfect for today's cook. Let me introduce you guys to all our ingredients quickly. Over here, we got some Doritos, as I explained. We've got some coriander, also known as cilantro, salt and pepper to taste, some cayenne pepper. We've got here beautiful avos. Just need to show you guys something to look out for. You see that pit, if you can call it that, at the end, right there. Try and make sure that's intact. Most of the time, if it's not intact, you might find some black spots inside the avo. Just, just a pro tip there. Then we've got some cheese here red onions, garlic, also got some lemon juice. It's going to be lemon juice once we're done with it. We've got some tomatoes here, jalapenos, and some chilies. Cream cheese, because that's a must. Guys, this is going to be beautiful. Don't run away. We're also using today some ground beef, as you guys can see. This is a lean beef. You don't have to do lean. You can go with what you want. The only thing is we don't want to add too much fat to this. There's really so many components. But guys, hey, this is your cook as well. You can do exactly what you want. Add, take away, exactly what works for you. With that said, let's start the fire and get this show on the road. Let's sort out the guacamole first. Let's get it in a bowl. Maybe taste a little bit to get it ready for this cook. So first you want to remove that bit there and then cut straight into the avo. Normally you don't cut towards yourself, but in this instance, you've got a bit in the middle, stopping it from cutting yourself. You can open it like that, wedge it open. Guys, the next step, how do we get this out? I'm sure all of you know. Just go in, in there, turn it like that, and then remove it this way. Don't try and do that. You'll definitely hurt yourself. Just press on those fingers. There you go, fantastic. Normally, guys, you only need like three ripe avos. We're going a little bit big today, like always. We're going to use four. We're going to split our guacamole dip in two. We're going to make a spicy one and a not spicy one, non-spicy one. Basically, you guys at home can decide what you as a family like, your guests. We like to do both, and then the guests can decide for themselves. What you need to do is use a big spoon and just get the flesh, if, if you want to call it that, out of that shell of your avo. See how easy that is. Just go all along the side of that avo and just remove it like so. Guys, there's no need to do four avos or three. You could even just do one if you like. Principle stays the same. Just bring all your ingredients a little bit in perspective with the amount of avos that you're doing. There's no need to go big. You can do what works for you. We're gonna add juice of half a lemon. Salt and pepper to taste. We love to add some cayenne pepper with that. I would say about a teaspoon, just for a small bite. Some red chilies, guys. Just get rid of all those seeds if you want. You can decide if you want it chunky or not. It's all about how much you can smash it down. We like a little bit of chunkiness in there, so we'll just make sure that we leave some parts in there that's chunkier than the rest. At this stage, it's important 
to have a small taste. Make sure salt and pepper is correct and your acidity. Remember that lemon juice that we put in here? Oh, it's perfect. We can carry on to the next step. Some garlic, the red onion, cilantro. Then we give all of that a mix. Also going to use a tomato. Same as before, we want to cut it real small, so I'm going to give it some incisions like that. Different ways to do this, guys, obviously. I like to play a bit every now and again. Then the other half of the tomato, I like to remove the juices a little bit. You can use your finger just to basically reduce the juices in this dip. And then we chop this one up as well. As always guys, we're gonna make sure that our skillet is nice and warm. Once the skillet is hot, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil, not much, as this mince got some fattiness to it as well. Once we're happy with the heat of the skillet and the oil, then we add some chopped up garlic. We're gonna add half a red onion, basically the onion we cut earlier. We're gonna saute this a little bit for about two, three minutes. Thereafter, we're gonna add our ground beef. Then all of this has to simmer just for about five minutes. You just wanna saute it nicely, get it a little bit brown. Obviously at the end of the day, it's entirely up to you if you want it a little bit more crispy or more done, you just leave it in for a few more minutes. Once that's ready, guys, this ground beef is ready. To come off the fire. Our next step is to plate this beautiful nachos that we've been talking about for this whole time. Basically, we're going to make a cheese sauce and it's really just a roux. If you haven't made a roux, we're going to use three tablespoons of real butter, three tablespoons of flour. You're going to mix them together. I'm going to show you how to do that. Thereafter, we're going to use a cup of milk. It depends how liquidy you want the sauce. We're going to add a little bit more milk if we have to. And then we're going to add our real cheddar cheese. Once you're happy with the texture of your roux, your cheese sauce basically, then you're going to remove it from the fire. That moment, guys. We're going to use our favorite Doritos. Not just chips, basically. Very close to the same. A generous helping of your mince. Some tomatoes. Try spread it evenly. Well, as much as you can. There you go. Jalapeno, definitely. Guys, you can put them down nicely or you can just go mad, put them all over the show. There you go. Some cheese, guys. Fantastic. Some of your grated cheese. Guys, try not to buy the packets that's really grated. Grated yourself, get fresh cheese if you can. The grated ones, if you buy it in a packet like that, it's got a little film around to preserve it. It's not going to melt as nice as these guys. A little bit more cheese. Guys, if you want to get your own nachos, tortillas, proper guys, you can do that. We just thought, I'm sure this is available in your store. And you know what? Beef it up, spice it up. Take your favorite flavor and run with it. I think this will be our last layer. Some tomatoes. Run it on the top there. And then jalapenos, same story as before. I'm just gonna smash it on there, move it around. The guy's gonna launch into it. There you go, a little bit more. Yeah, how's that? I'm getting a nod from Ko. I think she wants us to add a little bit more, but you know what? It's time for more cheese, so let's do that. It's like building a bridge, like a mountain, you know? See how high you can go, real nachos. I never said this is going to be healthy, but it's definitely going to be good. A little bit more of these jalapenos on top. Oh, they look absolutely divine. Guys, this is going to be indirect cook, and we're going to put it on the fire for about 10 minutes. Remember, everything is cooked on this beautiful beast that we've got here. It's basically just making sure everything else melts, like the cheese. Guys, 10 minutes on that Weber, indirect heat. Look what we have here. It's brilliant. Now it's time for our cream cheese. Let's do that. Ko is really smiling from ear to ear. I think she wants me to get this over and done with so she could divulge in this beautiful, classic cheesy nachos that we've made. We've got the non-spicy guacamole. You want to try and keep to the same size, smash it on there. Perfect. And then my favorite, the spicy guacamole. Guys, that moment. I just need to show you something. Look at that. Can you guys see how this cheese is moving? 
Hey, eh? look at that. Maybe I should just dig into that. I was going to use my fingers, but hey, add a little bit of cream cheese on there and guacamole. I think this will work. Cheers, boys and girls. Mm. Wow. I think we nailed this. Wow. I mean, where do we start? It doesn't matter where we start. We're going to start at this end and work our way through. This is beautiful. On that note, guys, I'm going to let you go. We need to dig into this. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Shh.